is uh, Dean Takashi with VentureBeat. I'm here with Jeff Polov of Basis, and uh, we've got an interesting new product here. So tell us about it. Well, what we're showing off here first is the Basis Band. Uh -huh. Now, this is a device. It's wearable sensor technology. You wear it on your wrist like a watch. Yeah. It tracks a number of things continuously and automatically in the background while you're just living your normal day. Uh -huh. The big breakthrough is we track heart rate uh -huh. continuously. Our belief is that heart rate is a core indicator of your overall wellness, uh -huh. so we can do that automatically while you're just going about your normal day. To heart rate, we add three other key metrics. We track activity, so how active are you, how many steps you're walking, that kind of thing. We add temperature sensors, both skin temperature and ambient temperature. And then we also add something called galvanic skin response, which can measure perspiration, so it gives us some idea of how intense those activities that you're involved in reminds really me of are. A, reminds me of the lie detector test, I guess, if you're, GSR you're is sweat, using, sweating it out. And, right, GSR yeah. can be used in lie detectors. So, yeah. We use this device to track all that data automatically, and then all that data gets uploaded to a cloud service, mm -hmm. where it gets analyzed, we run some fancy algorithms uh, mm -hmm. based on that data, mm -hmm. and then we try to find interesting insights and events, try to boil all that data down to mm -hmm. metrics that regular folks can understand and appreciate. Mm -hmm. And to do that, mm -hmm. we have our dashboard. Uh -huh. So the dashboard here at the top will show you your kind of key metrics. We boil it down to calories. How many calories am I burning today versus how many I should be? Uh, same for steps and uh, a view of sleep. How much sleep am I getting? Beneath that, I can also see the pattern of my heart rate through the day. I can see how my heart rate changes based on these different activities. You can see here that I'm earning points for doing the right things for my health, and all those points add up to my goal for the day. So this is positive reinforcement. This is trying to highlight the things that you're doing that are good for you. There's no, uh, this is all carrots, there's no sticks. We're not taking away points for doing the things that aren't so you good You don't get an electric shock in you case don't, you... Uh, you don't get an electric shock. Okay. But then also interesting, the system can automatically classify all this data into meaningful events. So here you can see that we're automatically detecting exercise like uh, like a walk of the dog or, or a walk for lunch. We're automatically able to classify things like sleep. So you don't have to put the device in different modes. You don't have to tell the device I'm going to sleep now to so put it in the sleep mode and then remember to, to tell it in the morning that you're getting up. All of that happens automatically for you. And this is all kind of coming from the quantified self uh, research that's been going yeah, on, Yeah, I think right? there's the, a lot of interesting stuff happening in the quantified self movement. And mm -hmm. for those of you not familiar, the quantified self movement is understanding ourselves better, collecting data about ourselves better, and then mm -hmm. using that data mm -hmm. to inform our decisions, inform, mm -hmm. inform, in the case of health, how we're living our life and how well we're living it. Mm -hmm. But I think in our case, we're trying to take all of that sort of data-oriented spirit of quantified self, really trying to gather scientifically meaningful data, mm -hmm. but then translate it into a much broader audience mm -hmm. than the people who have both the knowledge and the stamina to deal with lots and lots of data. All the data is there. Uh -huh. If you are a quantified selfer and you want to dive deeply into the data, uh -huh. you can do that to your heart's content. Uh -huh. But for you know our moms and our sisters and the folks who are uh -huh. not yet ready to deal with that level uh -huh. of analysis, uh -huh. we want to boil it down into things that are sort of easy to digest, uh -huh. really simple metrics, uh -huh. a quick glance of how you're doing uh -huh. versus how well you could be doing, and the lessons that you can learn from that. And there's some interesting startup competition here. There's uh, folks at Strive and uh, over at uh, Jawbone. Uh, Fitbit, I guess everybody's sort of getting into the picture here. Yeah, that's right. There's definitely an explosion mm -hmm. here of, mm -hmm. of this kind of notion of mm -hmm. connected health, devices that are connected in some way to, to be smarter. Mm -hmm. uh, in a number of those cases, they're using accelerometry technology mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to measure activity, to measure motion, to mm -hmm. do things like counting steps, uh, mm -hmm. something that we certainly believe in, something that we're doing as well. Mm -hmm. um, the big difference for us is trying to add on top of that accelerometry these other metrics that we were talking about, these other sensors, uh -huh. and again, fundamentally building off of heart rate as a core metric for how well you are. So you're getting enough uh, sleep in Las Vegas here? Uh, well, so far, no, <laughs> uh, but, okay. uh, but there's more nights ahead. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Yep, you bet.